Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison, for those of you who are new. I'm also an author, I've written two books. If you want to see what those are about, all the information for them and the links are in the description box below. So welcome, welcome back everyone. Um, this week we're set up for summer and uh, I'm doing like a water theme. Okay, so we're going to be using the Mermaid Tarot. The Whispers of the Ocean Oracle. And, um, you know, we're going to be hearing from Gaia. Gaia is the oceans as much as the earth. Um, the moon, because the moon affects our oceans. And the Lover's Oracle, because oceans are emotions. Okay, so let's, let's get this going. I can't see my citrine citrine over there so how are we doing this week let me just move this just a little bit so you can see my cute little guy over here look at him my little gnome with his little beach outfit on so cute all right everyone I hope everybody is doing well let's see what's going on for Virgo. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I'm also on Facebook and TikTok. All the links for my socials are in the description box below. I'm only here on YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook, okay? So um, if you would like to follow me on TikTok, I'm doing two uh, minute summaries of these readings. Everybody seems to be liking them pretty well. All right, so let's see what's going on. Virgo, what's up with Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Oh, that's just one card. The Emperor. Oh, wow. Okay, so um, father figure, boss, possibly an Aries. Oh, and next to it, the sun in the reverse. Uh, I feel like this person, <clears throat> or you may be taking this role as the boss because you're not as happy as you could be. Now, there, there could be an Aries, there could be a father figure or a boss, but look at him. He's in, he's in his right side up mode here he is sacred this is the sacred masculine so i just feel like this is you being in boss mode because you know now that you're not as happy as you could be yeah queen of cups in the reverse um there there's some insecurity um there could be a woman who is a woman or a feminine who is very insecure okay and she can be emotionally manipulative okay this could also be uh, that there's a Queen of Cups energy that you would like to have in your life but they're not they haven't fully manifested they're there but they haven't fully come in to your life okay could be that she's feeling insecure could be that she doesn't know Seven of Wands in the reverse, okay? So this is, this means a specific thing in this tarot that they want me to look up. Let me get the rest of the cards first, though. The Magician. Yeah, you're going to manifest this, this happiness. swords in the reverse now this yeah okay 
page of swords in the reverse. Um, there's been some spying. Um, there's things that someone hasn't learned. There is a lack of clarity at this time. Okay, so let me just pause this for a sec. Okay, yeah, so when I, I have used this deck um, recently and I'm being guided to look in the book that comes with it for these specific um, meanings here. So what we've got here is the emperor, this, this boss energy, okay? Now this, in the reverse, in this deck, means that it doesn't take, it says it doesn't take much to turn a good situation bad. And right now you may have very well done that by maybe being cranky or ornery. Um, this is stirring the pot. Okay. Normally for me, this would be um, a lack of determination, but not in this deck. This, you see that? This is a scuba diver and he didn't realize that he was coming across these mer people. So this means a completely different thing for me in this, in this deck here. So now it could have been you or someone else. Okay. It could have been this, um, this other person, this father figure, this boss, this Aries. Um, but like I said, they're right side up. So this is why I feel like this is you. I think that you went into boss mode and you stirred up a pot. Okay. Because you've realized that you're not as happy as you could be. That's what this always means to me. This is not telling me to look in the book for this. This is the sun. This is the happiest. It's in the reverse. You could be happier and you're going to manifest this happiness. This is the reason why you went into boss mode and you got mad. You may have found out something here. Okay. Or you may have realized because look at this, this feminine here. Now I was, on my way looking for this wands in the book here and it opens straight to her i'm like okay so i read what it says for her in the in the reverse so this is feeling overwhelmed so this in the reverse is a lot like the eight of cups feeling overwhelmed by your creative potential rather than liberated by it okay so this feminine this feminine energy which i feel is um, kind of opposite to yours right now. I feel like you're the boss mode and I feel like this is the person that is on your mind. Okay. Um, but if you're the feminine energy, then this would be a different person. Okay. So right now this is feeling overwhelmed. Like there's all kinds of things that you could do, but you don't know where to start because look at that underneath is the queen of wands. This is Pele. This is, um, inspiration this is fire is inspiration okay so she has got she's overwhelmed by what she is okay she's overwhelmed by um her potential and she is as uh, being represented by pele means she's not only you know the queen of wands means she's she's very attractive she's very magnetic she's very beautiful you know, and I believe it's because she's freed herself from some sort of heartache. You may have as well, okay? But she she is ready to, like a volcano, explode with her creativity, with her potential. But she's overwhelmed. Let's see what the ocean wants to say about this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on TikTok and on Facebook. I do sell personal readings. If you would like to uh, make an appointment, you can message me on Messenger or you can send me an email at my email below in the description box. I also take tips and they are very much appreciated. I have my uh, PayPal link down in the description box as well. All right, let's see. All right. Blend into the environment. You have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. Okay, so this is talking to me about this, okay? So 
Um, you have a lot of skills, okay? Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. So, yeah, there's a lot more going on around you than you think. Inner desires. Set some intentions. Oh, wow, you are totally doing that. Um, you are entering a phase of plenty or may have a sudden windfall. Goals are within your grasp. And... Um, Replacing what was lost, you now have the opportunity to rejuvenate and start anew. Create with a new perspective or outlook. This card may also indicate abundance is on the horizon. Of course it is, because look at Pele is at the end of this, okay? So, wow. I mean, we've got Boss and Pele. It's very strong, very strong energy here. Also with the Magician, which is, you know, very powerful and then the sun whenever you get the sun in a reading for me as a reader anyway it takes anything in this reading that looks negative and makes it not as bad as it could be um you know like this is happiness this is not as happy as it could be that's what the the sun card does for this entire read bottom of the deck says clearing the ex excess you are entering a transitional phase and would benefit from clearing away excess clutter, whether it is in your physical body or your physical space. Right? Yep, and this page of swords in the reverse. This could be um, some toxic um, spying. There could be people spying on this situation because of this. You know, you may have stir stirred up a hornet's nest, is what I just heard. Stirred up a hornet's nest. Wow. But you know what? If you're not as happy as you could be, if this is what you want, you're manifesting this, this energy right here, this feminine energy. Oh, I'm getting, for some of you, you may have your masculine energy on point, okay? Okay. But now you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but eventually you're going to be, your feminine is also going to come online, going to be on point. And as I said that, it was 12 minutes, 22 seconds so on the uh, camera. So, yep, this is a very strong reading. Two queens, three major arcana cards. Wow. Wow. And the Three of Swords in the reverse, which is the way you want to see it. You don't want the Three of Swords upright. Ocean of eternal love, healing, creativity, and fertility. That is what I'm feeling here. Oh, my God. Look at that. Um, ocean of eternal love, healing, creativity, fertility. That's these two right here. bottom of the deck the dream something is revealed insight breakthrough yep breakthrough let's see what the moon wants to say about this already got the sun here. The moon came out right away. I'm going to go one more time. All right. Be bold and make the first move. Yeah. Be bold. Make that first move. This is, you know, this this is still insecurity though, okay? Whenever I do a reading, it seems like the cards mean so much more than just one thing or for one people, one people, one person as well. Don't let your past hold you back. See, this is green. This is talking about healing. Okay, you, you've you healed from this broken heart. This is what they're, they're talking about. Your guides are telling you, don't let this past 
hold you back because this is not going to be what the past was. Okay, so adjustments are required, right? Adjustments, huh? Something needs to be balanced. Very um, Libra energy there. Okay, I'm going to get out my heart love deck. And that's, I just love this deck. It's so cute. It's a little bit hard to um, shuffle though. So let's see if I can shuffle this sucker here. I hope you guys can hear me with the air conditioner going, but it is freaking hot today. I'm over here in California, just baking. But you know, not for crying out loud. See, this is this is the thing about this. Crying out loud. Anybody say that anymore except me? All right, yeah. Just don't. All right. See, it's easy to do this, but it's hard to like shuffle them. The other way. Wow, these guys want to jump out like the tea leaf deck. Bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Being true to yourself. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. Follow your heart. Let me get this one that fell down here. I don't mind if cards fall on the floor. Some readers don't take cards that fall on the floor. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. Don't let the past hold you back, right? For life is too precious to waste. You, you create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. One moment, please. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. I'm speaking much better now. <laughs> so forgiveness, okay, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself, okay? Power, you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time, okay? All right, so... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I, I think what's being said here is that you, you're the boss of your life. You have the power. You know that you are not as happy as you could be. So you're going to manifest happiness. You want to get out of this overwhelmed, insecure mode and into this powerful Pele mode we've got over here because you have healed. It's time to move on. Don't let your past hold you back because it's not going to be the way it was before. All right, I hope you enjoyed your reading, Virgo. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.